It's a Flutter Flame tutorial series. We have two screens. We have the gameplay screen here. And then when you hit one of the ships, there's a game over screen. If you tap the game over screen, you can restart the game. We're going to add a start screen today. Currently in the Flutter Flame game, I have a main.dart file. And in addition to the run app, I actually have the flame game in here. And it's using these two routes right now. So let's add another screen. So we can probably maybe copy the game over screen and use it as a base for the start screen. And because we're using the flame router component, we have to do this line for contains local point here and the on tap. So the router will do router dot push named. And the name that we want here is we specified it when we define it, our router component. So it's a game play. So you press start and then you have game play. So we add another route in here. What do I call it? Start. The route is from the flame game system and it's start screen that we just defined new. We'll set the initial route to the start screen. See whether it works. Here's start and then we have our gameplay takes six seconds for the first ship to arrive and there it is so we're supposed to avoid it but we'll go right into it for the test game over and it goes back to the gameplay screen to keep track of the how long you've been playing the game and also make some triggers we use a dart stopwatch And then in the gameplay screen, in the on load, we'll just start the stopwatch. Elapsed. And then Game over screen. We'll restart it. I think I'll put the um, the stop in here. We use the flame update method. 
So if game ref dot lapse time is running, then we will stop it. Game ref dot lapse time dot stop. And then we don't need it. in here. So we have three of these, two of these folders plus the main in lib. I'm going to create another one for some GUI components and in here I'll create one for elapsed time dot dark And we'll make it a text component. The text component is from the flame game system. So elapsed time. I'll have it extend the text component from the flame game system. And we'll insert the has game ref. The name of our game, which we define, crow game. And can do onload. Override on load. I'm going to set the scale of the, the, the text. To about 1.4 times what it normally is. And I'll make the position. So we'll make it a proportion of the the size of the game. So this game ref dot size is the full size of the game. And we're going to use the x coordinate and take about thirty percent of it and four pixels down. We'll set up a text renderer. And the text, the text paint has a style. We'll do text style, and we'll make the color color the black. Control dot. Just to update, there you go. So we're gonna reset the the text. So this text is from the text component. And the lapse time is from dark. Lapse dot in seconds. And we'll do the dart to string. Okay, back in the main gameplay screen, we'll attempt to add it. Okay, I just stopped and restarted the game here. It looks like I need to reset this thing. So we'll go back to the game over screen. Game ref dot lapse time dot reset and we'll check it out. 
start. So it's at four. And it appears to be resetting. Maybe we want to make it a bit bigger. For now. So we're eventually going to trigger more uh, speed and more ships based on how much time has elapsed in the game. Just want to. Subscribe to the channel and we'll be getting to more of the features of the game here. So we can alter the, the speed of the ship based on the, the time elapsed and also the number of ships. I'm not going to make it here. Oh, made it, made it. It's too high. And also record the, the amount of time. So we'll be covering this in future videos. Have a great day. Thanks for learning Flutter and Flame.